Star Citizen has too many keybinds and controls. Well, too many to remember. There are a ton of useful ones that some players don't even know exist. I've tried mouse and keyboard. I've tried dual stick. I've tried hotas. I've tried other little button boxes and game glass. In comes Loop Deck Live. So, it's a stream deck on steroids. And for me, it's become an indispensable tool in my toolbox and Zin's toolbox as well for Star Citizen and general workflow. It has a ton of uses and is just a cool piece of kit for immersion too. Now, this is a sponsored video. Loop Deck came to me and they said, Bored, you want some money? Yeah. You, you're bad at remembering buttons, aren't you? Yeah. You want something that's going to give you a load of extra functionality in Star Citizen at a glance you're about to change mode with, super cool looking, to be honest. They were saying other stuff as well, but I zoned out after the word money anyway. Out of the box, the Loop Deck Live feels and looks great. It's very high production quality. It's got eight very tactile clicky buttons at the bottom you can use to sort of switch mode and change screens. It's got like six twiddly dials, which you can set up for a huge range of stuff. It comes with the USB-C cable and adapter for USB-A. There's 14 programmable custom touchscreen sections and I say sections because you can have them do a lot of different things. It works with Windows 10 and onwards, so 10 and 11 and Mac OS and there's a ton of different profiles you can just download for different workflows if you want to use Adobe Premiere, if you want to use it for streaming, if you want to use it for m loads of different games and that sort of stuff. Very few if any for specifically Star Citizen at the moment but that's what we're going to be using it for. Zim has made a basic profile but you could go really super deep and spend time customizing this to do a huge range of things from ship flight to FPS stuff to being able to jump in and out of web pages. It is as simple as plug it in, download the software, you're sort of ready to go with your customization and you select the buttons that you want to customize and what the function you want them to do. The device can vibrate as well for some feedback but I actually prefer to turn that off. Zin and I were playing some Arena Commander in Alpha 3.23 with Pirate Swarm and all the third sort of new gunnery and combat stuff with the master modes and operator modes. Zin and I are going to be talking about our hands-on experience with these Loop Deck Lives. Um, how do I activate my Loop Deck? Why isn't it working? Uh, you might have to alt-tab in and out quick. Hmm. Uh... When I tab back in the game, it doesn't work. Have you got the auto thingy on? Uh, dynamic mode on. I don't know. How is that? No, probably not. So under the main profile. Under main profile. So Star Citizen profile, dynamic profile on. Yeah, that now works. Thank you. Yeah. So dynamic profile means that if you focus an application and you've got a profile for it, it will swap to it. Okay. That makes sense. So make sure the dynamic profile's on if I'm going to be alt-tabbing and mm -hmm. doing that stuff, otherwise it's going to go on the default mode. Perfect. Bam! I'm ready. I'm ready for this jelly, Zin. Swarm initiated. Should I put more of my shields on the front or something? No, no, I'm just... Have you got... Have these got four shields? Yeah, Looks yeah. Like they've got four shields. So is this, is this the profile you've made only a, suitable for four shields? Huh? No, it's got top and bottom as well. So it will work for... okay. okay. Shields hit. So I'm spending all my time looking at the profile rather than looking at the screen? Yeah, so it's, you're going to have to get used to what's available and <laughs> where it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in a combat situation when I'm sort of a bit confused what is available. So what is available? So we're, we're in combat mode. I take it you are you are as well. Obviously, you can switch to other modes if you wanted to, but we're looking at your combat section of your profile. So, what are you actually using on it? Are you using it for targeting, or are you still using T on your keyboard, or slightly? Uh, I'm still using T on my keyboard because I don't have that set up on the thing. So we do have send off flares and that sort of stuff on here already, and cycle through hostiles. Um, can you not shoot me, please, while I'm uh, looking through my little profile. I think the thing is, is that how long did it say, take you to actually set up a profile on here? Um, it was more so just consolidating everything that I needed to add to it. Oh, so you've taken someone else's profile and sort of added to it? No. It's created from scratch. Okay. But it's like a case of going into Star Cities and finding out what hotkeys I want to Put in and there. then just making a button for it. Yeah. 
So, obviously there's a load of buttons going on here already. There's seven pages of buttons you've made over various sections. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're going to need to refine that a lot for your own sort of personal taste and to make it so it's more functional. How long do you think you could spend making it? I mean, as long as you want. Yeah. Is it going to take me, say I, I want to set it up like, like you sort of have, is this going to take me a couple of hours or is this going to take me hours and hours and hours and hours? Probably a couple of hours, but it depends how much you want to customise it. Like, I, you, to do what I have done initially probably took about an hour or two, but then when you want to add custom icons and stuff, which I'm creating myself, it's going to take a lot longer. Uh, oh, decoy, noise, noise, decoy. Press, the, uh, press all the buttons. They work. It's in the buttons work. Good job. That's good. <laughs> okay, so it's the custom icons as well, yeah. So at the moment, it's really pretty bare bones from an icon point of view of what we've got. This is all like the defaults mm -hmm. for everything. Um, and obviously, if you wanted it to look really pretty, and why wouldn't you? And um, then you're going to have to grab someone else's icons, uh, which there are other people's available, which you can pay a little bit of money to grab someone else's icons that they've already previously mm -hmm. made. And some of them yeah. are pretty cool. There's, um... Yeah, there's websites out there as well that do icon packs, mostly for Stream Deck, because obviously Stream Deck's been around longer. Well, this, to me, is just basically a, a Stream Deck on steroids, as I will mm -hmm. keep on referring to it as. And there's stuff like you were trying to get the cameras to work with uh, the Twiddly Boys as well, aren't you? Yeah, I haven't I haven't properly looked into that. That's going to be quite complicated, and I'm not even sure I can do it properly. He just flew into that station. Good job. So yeah, if we were playing in the Persistent Universe with like a mining ship or a salvaging ship, we have got... You have made some sections for them. Let's have a look. We've got scanning. Just generally exiting your seat and stuff. Um, for salvage. Okay, you've got all, all the basic stuff there for actually be... Oh, oh, uh, sweet. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. I had to switch back to combat mode and quickly fire a, a chaff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, obviously, there's a lot of potential there, um, but it is going to be your mileage is going to vary heavily based on the amount of time and effort you want to put on setting it up. Yeah. Um, if you do not want to set it up at all, it, you're going to have to be at the mercy of someone else's profile. And I would expect mo more profiles to appear. Uh, at, at time of recording, there is. Um, I'm using Zins, which is a work in progress, mm -hmm. um, and there's like Salty Mike's that's made one. Well, his is for the Loop Deck S, so it is a different for a different Loop Deck. They do all effectively all work, though. It's just the thing is, is you you wouldn't have all the buttons that he set up because the Loop Deck S, the Live S, has got a uh, a five by three button configuration, whereas this one's oh, got a four yeah, by yeah, yeah. three. So. Are there buttons you're already going, I wish I had this button here, or I wish I had this on this screen? Or you're, are you kind of okay? Kind of okay. It's Like I said, it's just getting used to it. Gotcha. Yeah, I think that when I go through and sort of make my own sort of stuff, I'll be flying around going, oh, I wish I had that there, and then adding it. And I do think there needs to be a, a quick swap to, like, shields, and then back again. Yeah. 100%. Or, or be on the same screen. Can't. It won't fit. Won't fit. That's the problem, because it's not enough space. Or you, you'd have gotcha, to gotcha. go, this is this is ancillary, let's have it on a second screen or something like that. Oh, Zin, I'm getting pummeled. So the cycle hostile and closest hostile work. They, they do exactly what they say on the tin. Yeah, yeah. And before fighting some bigger ships, we do some sub-targeting stuff. Because um, in 3.23, there's a load of new gunnery and targeting options and that sort of stuff. And the loop deck, very, very useful for knowing at a glance what a button does. Although at the same time, you're going to have to make sure you've bound it correctly. And CIG do like to change the buttons in Star Citizen at the moment. Um, but that will change in the not too distant future. If you've got a HOTAS or a, even a controller, I suppose, right? If you're using like an Xbox controller or something. Mm -hmm. um, these sort of things are going to be absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's not to say that they're not good on the keyboard. I suppose, actually, what I want to say, Zin, is you've used it in your, like, daily life and workflow, right? You're mm -hmm. not use just using it for Star Citizen. You're using it for other stuff as well. So mm -hmm. how useful is a tool is it for you? I, I love it as a tool, like, for just general daily things. And, and what are those sort of general daily things? Is it operating Windows or is it just workflow? Uh, no, no, it's just it's just home life. Okay. So I've got a 
home assistant set up on there so I can turn off on and off all my lights from my loop deck. I can dim my desktop. Oh, in lamp. your actual house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I've got OBS set up on there. You do have to have OBS running for it to work, obviously, but I can control OBS from my loop deck. Okay. Change all the volumes on my computer just from my loop deck. You don't have to alt tab or anything like that. It's 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 super handy. I do like the, some of the, the options and stuff you put on here, like um, the power of all your systems and, and all that mm -hmm. sort of jazz as well. But yeah, su sub-targeting. Oh. And just being able to switch between FPS and different ship modes and all that sort of jazz. I'm dead! Did I died! The loop deck does not necessarily make you better at games. And now we sort of come to the downside of all of that, which is you can do a huge amount with it, but it is literally going to be about the amount of time investment that you're willing to put into setting one up. Yes, it's very easy to set one up very basically and quickly, and there are a ton of generic profiles out there for a huge range of things. But for Star Citizen and your individual playstyle and your controller setup, whatever you're using, mouse and keyboard, controller, hot ass, whatever, is going to be different. Your mileage is going to vary. One of the joys of it though is once you've got your profile done, even if a keybind changes, you can just go in and change what that keybind was for that button and then it's all sort of ready to go again. You don't have to keep on redoing your layout. Realistically, you're going to keep on adding new buttons and changing what they do in their layout as you play Star Citizen. You go, actually, this is going to be better here. Oh, this is, oh, I need one for this. But where Star Citizen's going with master modes and operator modes, you could have one literally for each of the different operator modes, controlling missiles, power, targeting. Just having the ability to go bam, I'm in combat mode, and at a glance to have a load of controls accessible in a diegetic way without having to remember the bind is fantastic. But I could go bam, go into nav mode, and then at a touch of a button have the ability to go into my star map, or spool up my quantum travel, all that sort of jazz. Now, I know I have that on my keyboard, but it's just nice to have it on a nice little diegetic control panel. I say diegetic, there is a bit of time investment as well finding icons that you like for as well because there's some very generic icons and you can grab icons kind of wherever you want for your own uh, personal use. Some people make icon packs that you can purchase online. There's an icon pack I saw from Glitched in Orbit which I will link down below because you might want to grab those icons. It's, you, you pay what you sort of want with it, it's on Ko-Fi. And there's a lot of functions that are going to be very useful for people here as Star Citizen expands um, as we get out of 3.23, Master Modes, Operator Modes 4.0, they push towards a Star Citizen actual initial minimum viable product for release as we get Squadron 42. The loop deck's going to be useful for all of it. They're not incredibly cheap pieces of kit though, so they are a money investment as well as a time investment. The loop deck live being around $269 from their website. So it is much more targeted at enthusiasts or people that are going to use it for lots of different things. The Loop Deck Live, though, is an incredibly useful tool for playing Star Citizen, but also general PC usage. For me and my workflow, it's already indispensable. If you are looking for that immersive, tactile experience with a very cool piece of kit, then you won't regret buying one, at least in my opinion, as long as you do not mind setting it up fully. It's lacking any form of range in profiles for Star Citizen at the moment. Zin will be uploading hers once she's tweaked it a bit. However, you're probably going to want to make your own and then tweak and evolve it as you go, even if you use someone else's. And I would expect a big range of Star Citizen profiles to start appearing on there. Obviously, this is a sponsored video, but it is a piece of kit that has made my life a bit easier, and it's very cool. Things like HOTAS, eye tracking, voice attack, loop deck, they can all be used together and added to your toolbox of things that will improve your Star Citizen experience. This could be used in addition or instead of things like Game Glass or Stream Deck. Actually, for me, it replaces my Stream Deck because it has just got better functionality and twiddlier bits. I'll put all the links to the Loop Deck down below so you can check one out, potentially buy one if you're interested. I'll chuck the icon pack that I was talking about down below as well. We're going to be using the Loop Deck permanently ourselves just because it's really useful for us for, for streaming and for more for Adobe and general PC usage in addition to Star Citizen. So you'll hear us talking about that and we'll have them just immediately accessible to us. So if you've got any questions or comments about Loop Deck, if you've already bought one, if you're looking to buy one, if you're like, don't know whether I want to buy one or not, your mind should be made up by, do you have the time to invest into making it a good experience? If so, I heavily recommend.